Okay, uh, so uh, welcome to another edition of uh, With Enough Prep Time. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're doing a series of videos of the uh, top ten um, comic book rivalries of all time. If you haven't seen um, the uh, fantastic videos uh, I've presented before on the top ten rivalries, go back to number ten and make your way down. Um, it's been very fun uh, for me, and I'm sure, uh, I hope, for my viewers. Um, so, uh, coming in at number four for the top ten uh, classic uh, comic book rivalries of all time. This one's going to come out uh, to some from, uh, they may see this as coming out of left field, but um, th this one's a great one, and I'll tell you why. Um, this is uh, World War Hulk uh, versus the Void, otherwise known as the Sentry. Um, now, one of the things that, um, you know, I want to just do a little preamble uh, to this uh, before I go into what makes this such a classic rivalry, is um, I'm a huge Incredible Hulk fan. I loved, loved, loved the um, uh, 70s, uh, late 70s show. Uh, Bill Bixby, um, I think that was amazing. Um, everything from the the song to, and if you go back and watch the episodes, they're just as um, enjoyable now as they ever were. Um, th there's really nothing that camp about it. And then, of course, that got me into the actual comics of the Incredible Hulk. Um, and again, what a great, great character. Um, you know. Uh, he wasn't just the typical superhero. There was something, um, you know, very... Um, there's a sad undertone to the character um, uh, that adds a kind of pathos, a kind of weight to this character um, that a lot of superheroes don't have. Um, and, and also, you know, you take that, that classic... Um, line that's drawn between superheroes between which is very very psychological um, and is why they're so archetypical which is that dual identity and nothing uh, no other superhero um, I think um, maybe apart from Superman has such a good distinction such a great and um, archetypical uh, distinction between um, the ego and the id as such to uh, that ego. Um, the, 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 the distinct personalities of, you know, who the hero uh, represents himself as being in their everyday life, i.e. David Banner, um, the mild-mannered scientist, um, versus the Incredible Hulk, uh, the super-powered, enraged, uh, emerald beast who um, searches for nothing but peace. Um, and that, that, that's a great story. I mean, that goes back, obviously, um, to um, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, um, kind of uh, story of the two sides of um, uh, a sing uh, two sides of a personality existing in a single human being. Um, now, having said that, there is a major, major problem with the Incredible Hulk, and I will be the first to say this, even as a, 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 a you know, he's probably my favourite superhero, and that is the Incredible Hulk has a shit rogues gallery. One of the things I absolutely despise about rogues galleries is when um, you're mainly faced with, um, you know, an obvious, really, really obvious opposite to the character, like you have the leader for the Hulk, he's just the opposite, you know, he, he went through the same um, gamma radiation mutation, um, except it made him super intelligent, whatever, you know, um, and then uh, there's the other ones which are just like Hulk clones, essentially, they're just basically the Hulk, but evil. Um, it's the same like Green Lantern and Sinestro and stuff like that, except Sinestro has actually been developed a lot more by Jeff Johns and made uh, pretty cool these days. But that kind of, 
you know, rivalry doesn't often make very good um, storytelling. You need someone who's opposed to the hero in a slightly more subtle fashion. So, enter uh, the Sentry. Um, now, in World War Hulk, um, the Sentry, who has historically been Hulk, one of um, the Incredible Hulk's um, greatest friends, one of his best friends, he's one of the only people who understands the Hulk. Um, this is one thing I should have mentioned before. The Hulk is extremely powerful, like one of the most powerful superheroes ever. So it's very, very difficult to... Um, you know, when you have such a superpower being like Superman or the Hulk um, or, or, or Wonder Woman or Thor, to give them a, somebody who can actually do anything to them, you know. Um, so, as I said, uh, Sentry was one of the Hulk's best friends because um, the Hulk finally found someone who was um, his equal, uh, if not probably uh, slightly more powerful um, than the Hulk. Um, so, you've already got that best friend relationship, and then you get, what, what, what better enemies can you have than ones who are um, essentially best friends? Uh, so, these are two, so when you look at Sentry, the, like, this is why I, I think this is such a classic rivalry. When you look at them, they're two sides of the same coin. Banner is a scientist caught in a tragic accident, turning him into the Hulk, uh, and now trying to find a cure, while Robert Reynolds, or Sentry, is a, um, a, a superhero who once was very uh, a good, noble superhero, but who suffers from mental illness, i.e. schizophrenia and um, multiple personality, and is scared to death of his own power. Uh, because he enjoys it so much, it seduces it so much so that it actually seduces him into his villain form, which is the Void. Now, n the Void is probably the most powerful, or, or essentially the most powerful superhero in the Marvel universe. And hence, when he turns into his villain form, there pretty much is only one person who can take him on in the Marvel universe, and that's the Hulk. Um, so these two are mega powerhouses. Um, but what fascinates either, you know, apart from the potential for how they can battle, because Sentry is almost like Superman, you know, with those um, uh, solar-powered based powers, speed, strength, durability, um, energy, uh, solar blasts, all of the stuff that Superman is famous for. Um, so it gives us that Superman versus Incredible Hulk um, rivalry, but, you know, obviously a secondary fashion version of it. Um, but what fascinates more is the psychological relationship between them because they both suffer this multiple personality situation. Um, they're both, in a way, their own hero and villain. Uh, they are the most powerful beings on the planet, and neither wishes to have that mantle because it's too much for them to control. Uh, you know, Banner is, and, 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 and um, Reynolds are already their own worst enemies. Um, uh, each could uh, be put on the list of their own perfect arch enemies, Banner and Hulk and Sentry and Void. But when they clash, absolutely spectacular. Um, I think, actually, having saying this, if Marvel don't know what to do with a Hulk movie because they can't find anyone who is, um, you know, a villain uh, uh, that... that is powerful enough to really take on the Hulk. I think they could do uh, a lot worse than turning to the Void as a villain um, with Mark Ruffalo uh, returning um, again from his Bravaro uh, performance as uh, Bruce Banner. Um, it would be a fantastic movie to see and um, to see that kind of relationship unfold on screen, especially if Sentry is a hero at first and slowly his madness turns him into a villain which only the Hulk can take on. Um, so why not number three? Uh, it's clear to me that the geniuses at Marvel just haven't caught on to how fantastic a rivalry this is. The Hulk finally has a, you know, a worthy adversary, um, but they need to make more of it, you know, because uh, Hulk does not have, as I said before the best rogues gallery, especially that present a real threat to him. Um, and in my mind, World War Hulk series, which was one of the greatest Hulk comics of all time, 
um, created at least two more, and um, that's the Red King and the Void. They need to be brought back and be made more consistent um, villains of the Hulk. And a, a World War Hulk movie, or in fact just an Incredible Hulk the Century movie, is a very, very good idea, and I think it's the way to go. It's the future for Hulk. He's very, very popular in the Avengers, um, so he needs a movie, as well as, you know, like Thor and Captain America. Hulk needs a movie more than them. He's much more um, something that is appealing and that we can understand losing control because of rage, a primal rage. That is a great story. So anyway, um, that's uh, number four, and we uh, uh, hope to see you join me at number three. Uh, please like and subscribe.